Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with, uh, we've, we've got our sprayer finally here, tires on, and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a uh, sprayer clinic today. And we have, uh, actually we're lucky, we have the sprayer professional here from Huron Tractor, Rob Warwick, and Rob's gonna, gonna tell us a little bit about the sprayer and of course Jared's here and uh, Jared's filling in for Jerry because our key grip couldn't be here today how are you Jared good Rob how are you good Dennis. How are you? glad you could come down well, thanks for having nice me. jacket you got yeah there. I appreciate it. I got it docks and seeds this is nice you actually grow seed for us I don't grow you? some seed for you guys yes. hey and now it comes around the other way come around the other way sold you guys a beautiful sprayer here it's nice it is a green puff. I, I alluded in one of the other videos that we were painting the old one, but we really we didn't paint it. We we flipped it. You flipped it. Yep. No, you made a good call. It's a be a good sprayer. So, are you wanting to go over the sprayer? Tell us all about the forty thirty eight. Uh, forty thirty eight. Uh, this is what it is. This is a twenty seventeen forty thirty eight. 1,000 gallon tank, 120 foot boom, on 20 inch spacing, it's high flow, so it's got the high flow product pump on it, capable of 200 plus gallons per minute out the nozzles. It's got a 9 liter uh, John Deere PowerTech engine in it, um, and we'll just maybe start going through some of it. Sure. Uh, this here is the battery shut off on the sprayer. Oh, okay. Uh, I got oh, it's key. got a light. It's got a light. I got the key on in there right now because I want to go through the side panel, the auto solution. But this light, if it's blinking, uh, when you turn the machine off, you don't shut off the power when this light is blinking. That's what I understand. Okay. So, we'll maybe start over here. Uh, if you look up there, you can see the hydraulic oil reservoir. Yep. Uh, 10W30 torque guard engine oil is what we put in that, not high guard. Okay. Torque guard. Yeah. Um, this here is a little water tank for your for your water hose here. Clean your hands. Clean your hands. Nice little toolbox. Hey, we'll get that right full of stuff. Stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Won't we, Jared? On here, this is what we call the auto solution system. And this is our chemical eductor. And we have a 110 gallon rinse tank on the back of the main spray tank. So some valves on here. This guy here is a 50 mesh filter, straight line filter before the flow meters. So important to have him cleaned out. Right now the valve tap is on. Um, following it through here, one flow meter, flow meter one, flow meter two, flow meter two has a tap on it. So when you're doing high flow rates, so basically anything over hundred gallons per minute I'm just gonna make it easy and say, if you're doing any 40 gallon per acre jobs, you're probably gonna be opening the dual flow meter. You gotta tell the monitor inside too when you do it. Don't do one without the other, or you might try, you, you might get double, double the rate. Double You'll try doing double the rate. Yes. A good operator would know, watching this pressure and see there's something wrong. These sprayers will tell you your pump pressure and your nozzle pressure. So you can tell if there's starting to be filters plug or something like that. Um, so that's shut for right now. This here is a high low flow valve. Again, the sticker says it's supposed to be all the way shut at 26 gallons per minute. So that's basically doing 10 gallons an acre at like eight mile an hour. It's it's shut. If it's shut, there's still a hole in it. Okay. Back, back pressure for the flow meter. So if I'm doing 10 gallon jobs, uh, probably contradicts the owner's manual, but I'll run this at a 45 degree angle. Anything over, if I'm doing 12, 13 gallon plus, that's gonna be open all the way. It's 120 foot boom. You could probably run it open all the way. Same thing though inside, uh, this valve, the high low flow valve is on and, off. on and off inside the monitor, but it's gonna be on all the time. This is just a shut off to clean your flow meters. That's all that, yep. all that valve there is. So on the side here, you got two battery posts. They are not for boosting. There's a 30 amp fuse on the other side. You will blow it if you start boosting with it. It's just meant to be running 12 volt pumps or maybe a trickle charge on oh, the battery. Yeah. Okay. Like if you're pumping chemical. Yeah, yeah. that's right. A chemical yeah. pump would be perfect for that. 
this year is just that'll let the air out of the airbags if you're trailering or whatever. Some guys we put that up to the cab, so if they're on a trailer, then they can lower the airbags when they get on the float. So that'll drop the air out of the airbags. On here, the buttons on here, so you have an engine RPM there, your gallons per acre, so you know what's in the tank. It's got a float inside the tank. It's a it's a ball. It's a ball that's, uh, I think it's magnetized or something on a, on a shaft. So it knows what's in the tank at all times, within 15 gallons. Uh, but it zeroes between every tank. So on here you got that. You can also tell your pump RPM and your pump PSI. So you kind of know how hard things are working. So if you got a half a tank left, you can tell here how many gallons are in there. Yep, it'll say it there. I would believe this over top of the site too, yeah. to be quite honest with you. Sight tubes can lie to you, especially when you're switching from 28 to water. And you're on an angle. And vice versa, different specific densities if you're on an angle. So that's kind of what displays on here. So here we got a light, so you know what you're doing. You can turn your pump on from down here. I can ramp up my pump from down here. You got lights that turn on. The more lights, the faster the pump runs. Slow it down. I can turn my chemical eductor on from down here. I can hit the plus and I can make the chemical eductor suck faster or suck slower. I can turn my agitation on from down here, which is set only from inside the 2630. Each light represents more agitation. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, if I was, if I had the boom out, I could hit this button and that would spray out the entire boom. This button here, I hit that. It's on a delay to let you walk to the nozzle number one, the left side of the boom, and then it'll turn each of the 11 sections on for a few seconds and walk across the back of the boom. So we're going to get to the, this is your rinse icon. We'll get to that in a little bit. You got these two icons here too. So if you're using the sprayer pump to load, like your nurse pump isn't being used, you're going to use the sprayer pump to load, which means you have a three inch line with as little interference as you can, because you don't want to cavitate this pump. And, and it'll suck. You hit this. And now to ramp up the sprayer pump and start sucking on. Well as it's got prime, right? You can airlock. Yep. So we'll be careful. This button here, if I hit that, it's the same thing, but it's a target fill. So you have all these numbers on here. So say I want to do 600 gallons, and I'd hit the enter button, it'll suck on 600 gallons. And shut off. It'll shut, the engine will, will power down, and it'll shut the pump off. But if these valves are open still, it'll, it'll it can bleed start back. back feeding back. So that's an important lesson there. Um, on the back of the sprayer, I'll show you a couple things here. So in our sprayers, we always put a couple hoses on the bottom of the filters. Yeah. There's three filters back here. They're all 80 mesh filters. So when I'm doing any 28 work, I take all three of them out. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you take them out clean them up. If two of them have hoses on them for, for rinsing, rinsing the filters. If you look above that middle filter, which does the middle boom section, you'll see a pressure sensor there. That's your nozzle pressure. That's where it's getting it from. Above that, where you see the air line coming in, yeah. that is your boom air purge. So when it is on, that actuator over top is going to shut off. So you're only cleaning the air out from that Y all the way out to booms. Over top of that, is you, boom air and boom. you can do that from the cab. Do that from in the cab. Yep. Uh, we got a little video camera on the back for yep. for road road stuff. So, oh, you got a TV yeah. screen in the cab. You can it's see on the area. what's coming behind you. Yeah. yeah. How many cars you're holding up? <laughs> Probably a few. Actually, this thing doesn't hold many cars up. <laughs> It'll deray you five mile an hour when you're loaded. So maybe you hold some up there. Yeah. yeah they go pretty fast 35 mile an hour so we have kevin here from tirecraft how are you kevin good how are you and explain to us what you're going to do i'm going to uh, weigh this machine um we're going to do it two settings we're going to do boom in and boom out so that we can set your uh, road pressures and your field pressures so, so you can have a bigger or we'll set it for for the road and then uh, you can we'll try to get you as low as air pressure as possible okay so uh, sh we should be changing the air pressure if we're going down the road we 
do offer a uh, system that allows you to hit a button and change your air pressure so when you go in the field it gives you a bigger footprint and then when you go on the road uh, it Dece makes a smaller footprint gives you more stability uh, less tire wear less fuel use so that's a system you'd have to put on yeah it's an aftermarket system yeah okay well let's get out her Perfect. Why don't you just take a minute, tell us about these tires. Um, these are 650-65-38 Seat. Um, Seat's based out of India. Um, they're a radial tire, they'd be about 21, 22 inches wide. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, when you take your narrows off and these should, should help you float uh, through the field. We find you gotta have floaters. Yeah gotta have we've had floaters for several years <clears throat> and this tread doesn't mark too much no they're a little bit more rounded so they don't uh, mark the fields and they um, have a seven-year workmanship warranty three-year field hazard warranty and 60-day uh, satisfaction guarantee field hazard so we run over a surveyor stake yeah we come back out and Put Perfect. A, put another tire on for you. Perfect, because there, there's lots of T-rails out there. <laughs> yeah, you never, never know what you're going to find. And then you find them. You always find them in a tire. Yeah. <laughs> another thing that's bad is deer sheds. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice, a nice option that uh, not all brands have anymore. And, yeah. Uh, gives you the flexibility of find something in the field and get you another tire. <laughs> well, if there's something out there, we always seem to find it. <laughs> So tell us about the scales, they're solar powered? Um, yeah, they have batteries that they're charged with uh, solar, uh, so we can have weight. We do a lot of weigh centers and we'll weigh all day and never have to charge the battery. Um, and then it uh, comes Bluetooth through my uh, box here, so I don't have to climb underneath. And especially when you're weighing duels and stuff, it, uh, you know, not doing anything dangerous. I find the more birthdays you have, the, the harder it is to climb under anything. <laughs> it is. Yeah, a little, a little easier on the knees and back. This will be recorded as the road pressure. Um, and then we'll figure out what the uh, ladder was the tank weighs now. So what does it weigh empty? Uh, right now it weighs 32,140 pounds. And it's empty? Yeah. Anyway, Kevin, I'll let you get back at what you're doing here. Perfect. And what... Um, Kevin's going to do is set all our air pressures for uh, on in the field and, and then tell us what it needs to be for on the road. Yep. Both uh, these tires and uh, the skinny tires. Yeah, I'll let you uh, I'll let you know what it is and then uh, you can set the skinny ones up. And... Anyway, thanks for coming down. I'm going to shove off. Yeah. And uh, just wanted to do a shout out for Tirecraft. You've been pretty good to. It's a, it's a struggle to get tires this time of year. It or is. this year. Yeah, there's definitely a shortage, so yeah. Appreciate you having me out. Yeah, well thanks for coming. Thanks. Anyway, that's a gonna about do it for this video. They are uh setting up the GPS and everything in the cab. And I uh, just wanted to thank the good folks at here in Tractor. They've been very good to come and uh go over everything with uh myself and Jared doesn't matter with me because I don't do any spraying anyway. Jared does it all. And uh, we hope this sprayer works for a lot of years. And maybe someday we'll actually be able to afford to have it. Anyway, if you haven't, uh, give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed now, it would be a good time. And I'll catch you on the next video.